Today with our friend Will Rogers and we are talking resolutions. Um, resolutions don't necessarily mean during the new year. They can be any time of the year. Will, why is now the great time to talk finances and just give our resolutions a fresh look? It's a lot better time of year as it it we're looking at all the things that are going on. Um, right now, if, if you've got um, employment, you've got open enrollment and work is coming up here in, in just a couple of weeks. Um, if you've got kids, a lot of their activities are not as intense. You know, you don't have the, the awards presentations, you don't have the, the playoff games, everything. You know, now is kind of a, a, a chill time of year. So what's, what would be the first thing to evaluate? The, the very first thing is taking that good look in the mirror at your own spending habits. You know, are you spending in a way that is in alignment mm -hmm. with your long-term uh, goals and values? Because even if, if you've got this big plan, the, the, the spending, it's really like if you're going to walk across America, spending is taking that step after step after step. And so you've got to have spending aligned with what's important to you. And why should people, um, or rather, what should people commit to? Uh, they really want to commit to, to long-term financial stability, you know, so as, as they've got things coming in, just like a lot of folks clean out the garage uh, to get things, clean out your financial life so it can be peaceful. Uh, finances can bring a lot of stress to folks, and it's usually because they're, they're reacting to it. Mm -hmm. Just reacted to that. <laughs> Very true, though. And, you, you, you know, you bring up the garage. I need a plan if I'm going in to attack my garage and all the messing that's up out there. What kind of action plan should you do for this? There's three key things for the action plan. First off is, is a spending plan for, for the day-to-day -day expenses. You know, just as, as you're going through every day, every week, every two weeks, if you get paid every two weeks, every month, you need to have that regular spending plan that, that uh, takes into account for just the normal groceries and stuff that you have. But you also need to have a, a an allowance for the stuff that comes up that's unexpected. Right. The, the, the curveballs that, that come your way, because that, that's what usually destroys most spending plans. You know, it's the air conditioning, it's the tires, it's stuff that you're not really planning for. But the flip side is, is of the contingency plan is, I call it the rain barrel, but you know, what if there's a lot of surplus money coming in? Think about where you want that surplus money to go so it can be intentional and help you get where you want to be rather than just fritter it away on stuff. And speaking of spending, how can we control our spending better? This is so difficult, and I, I like to tell folks it's as simple and easy as losing weight. And I'm not a skinny guy. You know, weight is it's just tough for me. And what I found with money is eliminating as many of the decisions as you can. So if you've got your day-to-day -day spending plan set up where it automatically takes care of the, the mortgage and the power bill and, and, and the regular expenses, if you've got that, then whatever's left, again, if you get your regular stuff taken care of right. and, and your savings taken care of, whatever's left, spend it on whatever you want, but when the money's gone, stop. So, so instead of using credit cards, use cash for the fun stuff. So I don't care if it's going out to the movies, going out to eat, if it's going to the craft store, or you know, for me it'd be the boat store, but uh, <laughs> whatever you have, just use cash. And when the cash is gone, go home. And that's the biggest thing. All right, Will, any final thoughts on this? What are the takeaways we need to know? One, one of the things, and I, I said something earlier that, that kind of hit you and you reacted, but if, if you can get ahead of your finances, find the joy in it. You know, instead of reacting, have it where you're controlling your life, you're controlling your freedom, your security, and if you've got that where you're in charge of it and, and you're ahead of it, then you have the potential to have great peace and just, hey, I got this, and find the joy in it and get this. I like it because sometimes I'm like, you know, I, I, I don't got this. Do you this. trust yourself? <laughs> no? Well, then you need to learn. Okay, and that's exactly what we need to do. That's it. All right, All right. Will, appreciate it much. Uh, information on Will and how you can get more information on what he's talking about on the screen here now. Will, appreciate it much. Always happy to share my wisdom on wealth.